all right what's up everybody it's ethan here and i know you probably can't tell but i'm coming to you from bryce canyon national park right now so i had this great plan that i was going to come out here do the peekaboo loop trail it's supposed to be really beautiful really awesome scenic loop only about a six mile total hike uh, not too difficult, definitely not nearly as difficult as what I did yesterday at Buckskin Gulch. But, let me tell you something. I have been to some crowded places in my life. Uh, I have been to Times Square. I have sat on the 405 during rush hour. I have been to some crowded places. But, this, this place right now is easily in the top three most crowded places I have ever seen in my life and it's a national park so that's honestly pretty sad it's a sad statement not only is it intent is it insanely crowded I mean you might be saying well you shouldn't be there on a Saturday well it's a Monday it's a Monday in late March there's still snow there's still mud it's not even the peak tourist season here in Bryce Canyon yet and even so there are are no parking spots anywhere sunset point sunrise point bryce point the general store the lodge every parking lot that is anywhere near an area where i can access the trail to do the hike i want to do is completely full so thus far my 35 dollars entrance fee for the national park has got me uh the fun of driving around overcrowded parking lots full of idiot tourists for the last hour. That's uh, that's what it's gotten me. And I gotta tell you, this is in sharp contrast to what I experienced yesterday at Buckskin Gulch, where I saw like five people the whole day. <laughs> um, so anyway, I am gonna try to get over to Sunset Point, where I am starting this hike from. Uh, I parked like a mile away really far away but it is what it is uh it's questionable whether that was even a legal place to park my car or not so we'll see if i have a ticket that i'm totally not going to pay if i do have one that uh if when i get back but yeah we'll see i gotta tell you i was excited when i got here but that excitement has been tamped down quite a bit so We'll see how it goes, but I can already tell. I just know that this hike is going to be insanely crowded from start to finish. Well, it's beautiful, but worth the crowds. So far, I'd say no. <laughs> Heading down towards two bridges on the Navajo Loop Trail amongst the hordes of people. It is very beautiful though, I'll, I'll give it that. <laughs> Going down the big switchbacks I remember this from the last time I was in Bryce, actually, about five years ago. All right, well, I'm down towards the bottom. The trails aren't quite, or I mean, the crowds aren't quite as concentrated here, but there's still a ton of people. But uh, views down here are beautiful. All the red rock, the hoodoos, everything out here. It is a really incredible place, but uh, I just, I just can't handle this level of crowds. This, uh, it's so crowded today. The only place I can think of that had equal to this amount of crowds was the first time I did the Delicate Arts Trail in Arches. All right, Peekaboo Loop. I think this is the. Uh, Yep, this is the trail split right up here. 
So I think I'm gonna go to the right first. Beautiful views going up the Peekaboo Loop. You can see all the hoodoos that I was hiking down just a little bit ago. So I think it was like, it was only a little over a mile, maybe a mile and a half to get to the start of the Peekaboo Loop from Sunset Point. So really not too long of a hike. Peekaboo Loop's only three miles total. Beautiful. I do love the snow contrast to the, you know, to the red rocks here. It's really cool. Still hiking up. Trail's gotten fairly steep, but it's not bad. And um, yeah, there's actually a lot less people on the Peekaboo Loop. So that is really nice. <laughs> I feel like for the first time since entering the park, I'm a little bit out of the crowds, which is a good feeling for sure. I think I might be getting close to the top here. Not sure. But the views are definitely really, really good. All these hoodoos everywhere. Beautiful. Well, that's really cool. There's a arch over there. And this looks like a freaking castle right here. And then of course, getting really good views of all those hoodoos along the edge of the canyon. This is a beautiful loop. I mean, it makes sense why Bryce is so crowded, but still, be nice if it wasn't, especially on a damn Monday. But what are you gonna do? But looks like I'm going down now, so I might have uh, might have topped out there on the Peekaboo Loop. That might have been the highest I go. We'll see. Well, those are some nice uh, payoff views for all that climbing. Not really all that much climbing either. <laughs> Beautiful. The backside of Peekaboo Loop here is really, really awesome. Tell me what that looks like. Yeah. That's probably the best view so far on this loop. That is really, really cool. Very cool. Trail's been kind of going down and up, down and up for a little while now. But yeah, it's very beautiful.
up there. I'm pretty sure that's called the wall of windows. And there's basically just a lot of small arches in there. So when I get up to the top of this incline, I should be able to see a pretty good view of all that. Well, you can certainly see lots of arches and big holes in the rocks from up here. Especially those two big ones right there. Awesome. So I'm pretty sure that was the wall of windows benchmark. Should be mostly downhill back to the Navajo Loop Trail from here. This is a really cool section of trail. Very exposed. Really cool views through here. Wow, turn the corner and it's even better. <laughs> that is awesome. Really cool spot here on the Peekaboo Trail, which I should be almost done with at this point. All right, well, I'm off of the Peekaboo Loop. It's really beautiful, and they, there were a lot of people, but it wasn't nearly as bad as being up on the rim or at the Navajo Loop, which is where I'm about to be in a minute here. I've got, I think it's like, a little over a mile to get back up to the rim from here back to sunset point unfortunately after that i do have to hike another 0.8 miles on the rim trail and on this little bike path to get back to where i parked because i was not able to get a spot at sunset point or anywhere close to there That was two bridges back on the Navajo Loop. Almost back up to sunset. And following the conga line of people again. Back at the top, pretty easy hike. It's about six miles, took me a little bit over an hour. And uh, if you're, well in my case, it's gonna end up being about eight miles because of all the hiking I have to do on pavement back to the car. But normally it'd be about six miles. And about a thousand feet of elevation difference total. So pretty easy overall. Maybe I classify it as moderate. Okay, well, I am walking away from the rim back towards my car, which may or may not have a ticket on the windshield when I get back. I guess we'll see. And, um, yeah, so... I'm going to go ahead and end the video here and spare you guys the rest of this walk on pavement back to uh, to the car. But uh, that was really beautiful. It, re it really was a beautiful hike. Like I said, for me, because of the extra hiking I had to do, ends up being about eight miles total. Still not bad. Pretty easy. The only difficulty I had was because I did 22 miles of hiking yesterday, my calf muscle on my right leg has some serious muscle strain so I could really feel it on the second half of that hike 
but luckily it wasn't really bad enough that it slowed me down too much and I was able to finish with a pretty good time so anyway like I said I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video now and uh, I'll say that overall I I do think it was worth it to do this hike but at the same time it's still very obnoxious that you know on a Monday there would be this level of crowds here that it would be this like impossible to find a parking spot and um, really the only place where I was able to get away from the crowds in any sort of way was on the most of the peekaboo loop most of the peekaboo loop it was kind of like you'd see a person or a group of people every you know few hundred yards or something like that but there was actually like space between groups and you know enough room where you could feel like you were actually out in nature enjoying yourself but I mean everywhere on the rim most of the Navajo loop all that stuff was just utter chaos and then of course the parking situation was just an absolute living nightmare so overall I think it was just beautiful enough that it made going through all that hardship worth it but um i mean i don't know what to say about when is a good better time to come here because i'm here on a monday in march and it's crazy crowded so i don't know what to tell you uh maybe in the dead of winter or something like that <laughs> on a monday or like a tuesday or something but anyway guys i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here i hope you guys enjoyed if you did Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys soon for another awesome hiking adventure. Have a good one, guys.